what's up keto people. So with Memorial Day and you know how we had coleslaw and I was able to, my mom and I were able to make some um, coleslaw, which you know everyone knows how to do. Um, I also wanted to do potato salad and unfortunately we didn't have enough time, but here is a potato salad. But that's not with potatoes, that's radishes. And I tell you what, it, you just really, I mean, you may be able to taste five to maybe 10% of the radishes. You don't miss the potato, the texture is there. It is simply fantastic. And here's how it's made. Okay, so here's what I've done. I went ahead and I've peeled, um, I don't know, about five or six of the radishes. And um, water's not boiling yet. I'm gonna go ahead and um, put them in here. I'm also, you know, because no one has time to really sit and peel radishes. So I'm just gonna throw in um, four more, just like that. And we're gonna let it boil for, I think about 10 to 15 minutes, I think more around 10. Um, anyway, I'm gonna let these boil and then I'll come back. Okay guys, welcome back. Oh, I have a dot on my shirt, okay. Um, what I did also because you know these are radishes although they do taste a bit like potato You will still have a little bit of the radish flavor um, So I put a little bit of chicken stock or chicken broth um, in with the the water to kind of you know make it taste a little less radishy um, And so I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, Dice these up. I kind of like mine a little bit smaller and less chunky than um, most um, so we're just gonna chop those up and then what I have as far as the sauce and I might have to to revise this um, is two tablespoons of homemade mustard um, a teaspoon of spicy brown mustard um, some salt and pepper to taste and then also some celery seed um, and I did I think about a fourth of a teaspoon of celery seed um, along with, uh, I think it's a tablespoon and a half of diced onion, and if I had some diced celery, I would add that in there also, just, you know, a little bit, just to have that taste. Anyway, I'm going to dice these up, and then I'll come back. Okay, that seemed to be the right amount for around eight to nine, um, maybe even possibly ten radishes for for um, the three tablespoons, or excuse me, two tablespoons, two, two to two and a half tablespoons of mayo, and, you know, all the rest of the stuff. So here's what it looks like. I, and it is actually really tasty. Now, if you like more mustard, obviously put more mustard in there. Um, but I think it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Probably could use some, like I said, maybe the, the celery or diced a little bit of green pepper in there too would be good. But this is the base for it. You can kind of do what you want. And it's actually quite tasty. Oh, on the... Um, I boiled them for an additional seven more minutes. So it's around 17 minutes that you really need to boil them for eight to 10 um, radishes. But anyway, here's what it looks like. It's very tasty. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and if you wanna see more videos, hit subscribe and hit that little bell if you wanna get notifications um, for whenever I put up a new video. Um, so that's that. I will see you next time.